Over the past 24 years, this plane has flown enough to circle the world 1,200 times. Now, it's arrived at a desert tarmac in Goodyear, Arizona. This is the home of Aero Turbine, a company that specializes in all things aircraft. Let's go ahead and prep these. Roger Hodges is the maintenance manager. Usually, he repairs aircraft, but this one is different for one good reason. It's worth more dead than alive. So basically, this 747 is now beyond repair. It's old and too expensive to maintain. But rather than trash it, Roger will make sure it's carefully pulled apart piece by piece. Just like cars or anything else aren't going to last forever. There's still many parts with, within the airframe and engines that are worth sending to overhaul. 30% of this airplane will be utilized in, the, in future uh, 747s. The Jumbo's parts are so interchangeable because the plane's basic design has changed little since its first commercial flight in 1970. Back then, it took several hundred people and four months to make a plane. Now, just a handful of mechanics will attempt to tear one apart in only 12 weeks. Among them, Derek Pfeiffer. He runs the crew from the ground. We'll get in there with a ratchet and a socket and get them out. Lyle Bonebreak is in charge of snakes on this plane. <laughs> While Pete Faulkner will try to dodge them. That was good. <laughs> that was Jesus. All are experts in their own right. Only one problem. None of them have ever pulled apart an aircraft this big. This is a first. The Boeing 747 is the biggest aircraft we had to tear down so far. All right, you ready? It's by far maybe the biggest challenge. It's just huge. We don't want to damage it. We don't want to get hurt. Everything they do will be a learning experience. They must rely heavily on the manuals that were used to build this plane more than two decades ago. Big parts. Everything's like four to five times heavier than we're accustomed to. It takes tooling, it takes slings to be able to handle that kind of weight. See that junk in the back? It'll be a four-step process. First, workers must gently remove the engines, four elephant-sized jets, to be handled like eggs. Second, they must remove and inventory any resellable item, from piping to coffee makers. 65 Bravo, 94. All can return to service on other aircraft. Third, they must extract hazardous material, like depleted uranium, and take it to a safe location. Workers will also strip and trash anything else of little value, like worn seat covers and insulation. Finally, they must crush the remaining metal so it can be melted into solid bars of aluminum. And from there, made into other objects like electronics, hardware, even furniture. The aim is to recycle an incredible 98% of the aircraft and reclaim spare parts and scrap worth about $6.8 million. 